Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Farming in Africa. And as usual, my name is Fred. Today we are going to be talking about goat farming and our strategy and what we are doing with goat farming in West Africa. Over the years, as you guys know, I have been experimenting a lot with goat breeding. Goat breeding in the sense that I have imported goats from Mali, which are the Sahelian goats. I've also imported goats from South Africa, which is the Boa goats, your Kalahari red, and your Savannah goat. And then obviously I have the West African dwarfs here at the farm as well. What are we trying to do? What we are trying to do is basically how do we add value to the local goats that we have? Value in the sense that our local goats here cost about $50 per goat. The South African goats that you're seeing here are costing about $1,000, $1,500, even $3,000 depending on the breed and the size and the age and everything. But the maximum our goats go is maybe $70. That is not sustainable because as a farmer, the same infrastructure, the same feed that I give to this goat is the same feed I give to this small goat. So instead of me spending my time, food, resources, structure on $70 goat, how can I spend the same time, the same resources and be able to have a goat that costs $1,500, $3,000 and all the way up to $5,000 in auction. And that is what we've been trying to do. And the reason why we've been importing this goat. We just received, um, I think, our third or second consignment this year in Ghana. And this goat actually belongs to one of our customers who is not ready yet. His pen hasn't been ready. He's in the U.S. And therefore, we decided to keep it for the customer. But come along. Let me show you guys what you get when you order goats from us. So these are the boa goats, right? So that goat here. It's a male boa goat, which is about three years old. That goat, you see, weighs 165 kg. Some might say that is not a goat. That is a sheep. And I don't know if our camera can tell you actually the size, but it's a very big goat. I think if you raise the camera, we have some West African dwarves behind. So you can see the size. Maybe use it as a comparison to see how big this goat is. That goat right there is a white goat, you know, and you can compare the size between the goat you're looking at and this small goat. This goat is above my knee, right? And I'm, what, seven? point two right and these goats are looking really good look at that female goat if you go this side right that female goat is pregnant and it is very big that goat is two years old right and looking very healthy and very big this goat just came from south africa and that's why we are starting our next order in this december and trying to bring another set of these goats so if you're in west africa if you're in Togo, Nigeria, Ghana, and you really want to join this revolution on how do we turn a goat like this? Come over. A goat like this, which I will sell for like $30, right? Into a goat like this. Let's look at this goat that's climbing. Look at that, right? How do we turn this goat into such a goat? And to me, I feel like that's, that's the goal. This is what we need to do, right? To add value, to make sure that farmers' time and resources are worthwhile. And somebody might ask, what do these goats even eat? You know, as you guys can see, we give them the sementia grass, which we've turned into hay, right? And that's what they feed on. And we also have the pallets, which we have mixed the sementia grass with all the nutrients they need, like their phosphorus, their calcium, their potassium, their manganese, their copper, and contains all the vitamins that is needed and form it into pallets. So come inside. Let me show you how we've done that. So we've made them into pallets, right? And these are the pallets that we give to them to make sure that they have all the nutrients that they need, right? So whilst they're here, they are eating this pallet. And when they go down there, they are basically feeding on um, the dry hay. Come, come closer so that they can go up, right? So look at them. If you touch this goat, <laughs> they actually look like pigs. <laughs> very, very huge. Right, and that's how we feed them. So their feeding is very basic. It's, it's nothing miraculous. You can do it. You can plant your grass. If you don't have your sementia grass, get some. Um, plant it. You can feed it to them directly as green. 
or you can dry it as hay and feed it to this goat and they will eat it and grow as big as they are right so we are taking our all this we are trying to bring a consignment day by december so if you want to have a good christmas and have a goat like this in your house as a gift at your farm to cross your local goat and so on then get in touch with us and let's help you i think we also have the pallets um, at the shop in Achimota. So if you guys want some 10 kg, 20 kg, if you have local dwarfs, if you have whatever goats you have, come get some, feed it to them so that your goats and cows and sheep don't have to be roaming around, destroying people's things and actually losing them because they go out and they don't come back. You know, they are bitten by snakes, they are stolen by people. This is the solution in doing that, right? So thank you guys for watching and I hope this was useful. Um, we're looking forward for this customer to come for his goats, but at the moment they are in our presence and we're gonna try and keep, um, take very good care of them as much as we can. I'll see you in the next video. Something deep inside won't let me